Hello, hello, Tatum here and welcome to day 22 of my summer heat challenge. I have a fun interval mix up for you today with fat burning cardio. Nothing too plyometric, but get prepared for small jumps, skips, and skeeter bounds. This workout will leave you on fire and feeling fine. I highly recommend for our more advanced subscribers to head out for additional steady state cardio afterward to complete a longer workout. Please read my video description for more details on that. No weight or equipment needed. Now click play, follow me, let's turn up the heat. Hello, hello, welcome back to day 22. We have a fat burning cardio today. It's going to be, it's gonna be intense, but we're not gonna do super duper plyometric, but we will be jumping, hopping, and, and doing that sort of thing, but it should be doable. I'm super excited about it. It's a little bit shorter. We're running around 35 minutes on this one. If you have a jump rope, grab it. If you don't, don't worry about it. We'll ghost rope today, but no equipment needed. Grab that towel though, grab a water bottle. We're gonna move through this fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and start with some high kicks here, or just actually let's go with leg swings first before we kick that leg up there too high. So let's go 10 on each side and we'll get moving here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, other side, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And before we get to those kicks, let's go up and around big with the arms. I do have push-ups for you today. Yes, we will be doing push-ups and reverse it. Big backstroke here. And back forward. Four and five and reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, let's go ahead and give it a little kick here and a reach to the toes if you're there. If you're not, go for your shins. Good, and then the other side. I'm gonna go across the body, but you can go same side if you need to. And you can walk this out if you have space instead of staying in place. Jogging in place today, jump ropes, squats, push-ups, you name it, it's in here. We're just going to rev up that heart rate a little bit, keep it good and steady and high. All right, let's go ahead and bring that heel to hip and heel to hip. Up, walk it out, other side. Or you can just stay in place if you'd like. Let's bring that heart rate up here just a little bit with some uh, jumping jacks as I fall over there. <laughs> Get the jump going, cause it's coming and we have jump rope. I did not put jumping jacks in today though. I'm tired of jumping jacks. We're gonna warm up with them and that's gonna be the end of them today. I think the last few weeks we've had quite a few variations in them. All right, 15 seconds to go. We're gonna move right into this. If you need more of a warm up, take it. We're gonna go into a jog here and that's how we're gonna start. Our first one, I'll try to give you our intervals. They're gonna change as we move here. Three, two, and one, we're moving. We're just jogging in place. It's not have to be a sprint right now. If you wanna take it up to a sprint, you can. It's a minute long though, okay? It's a minute. This isn't your 20 second high knee sprint. It's not your 30 second, a whole minute. You can move around if you want. And then we'll go into our ju jump rope for a minute. There's no rest. We're just gonna keep working. So the first two exercises are a minute. We'll go through two more exercises at 30 seconds, 15, and then work back up to our minutes, repeating those exercises. You'll see as we go. That's it. Now, when you're jogging in place, I want you to think about pumping those arms, moving those arms too. I feel like this microphone, keep going. It's probably gonna make too much bouncy noise if I don't, there we go, get it in place. 10 seconds. Let's go. Again, you can spray or do high knees if you need to here. Three, two, and one. Grab your rope or ghost rope with me. One minute of jump rope. Whoops, maybe. <laughs> here we go. If you tend to fight with your rope, just put it down and ghost rope. I would rather see you ghost rope and get the jumping in and st spend most of your time fighting and trying to untangle the rope and all of that stuff that happens on some days with the rope. I know, been there. 30 seconds to go, we're halfway. 
Now, if you don't have the rope and you're not using it, I still want you to think about getting those shoulders into it. Kind of rotate the shoulders, get the arms going, move them a little bit like you would with the rope. Good, 15 more seconds. Ten, you're doing awesome. Right into this today. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rope up. Squats. That's all it is. Thirty seconds of squats. Here we go. Thirty seconds here. We'll go into that diagonal chop. I think I spoke about it on twenty-one. It's more of a hay baler. Is what I call it. Chopping up towards the shoulder. That'll be thirty seconds as well. All right, keep moving. Move as quick as you can here, but with good control and form. So we shouldn't see the knees going in and out here. It's not the Tootsie Roll, no. <laughs> Showing my age. Three, two, and one. Clasp your hands here. We're gonna go from the hip over the shoulder, and you can rotate that toe to follow the belly button, okay? Right there. Quick. We're gonna stay with this right side. We'll get to the left on our back, on our way back. So don't worry about it right now. Good. I mean, I want you to pretend you're gonna throw something so far behind you, okay? Quick and hard. We stop it. We stop that rotation by bracing through this movement and the core. All right, here we go. Squat pulse. 15 seconds here. There you go. That's it. Little pulses. Move into those quads. Feel them burning. There you go, back to your chaps, up over the left shoulder. This is gonna be a quick workout. I have other exercises with the same format, and we'll move through both of these circuits uh, together as one at the end. That's it, come on. Really, like you wanna throw it. Get, you gotta exaggerate. We're not using weight to so exaggerate, really force it. Oh, come on, oh, you got it. Let that toe rotate with the belly button today. Three, two, one, nice work. Squats, 30 seconds. You got it. Then we're moving back into our minutes. Okay, we'll have our jump rope, we'll have our jog in place. Boom, that one's done, just like that. Keep moving with me. We'll have a little bit of rest in between. So we can talk about the next exercises because we're gonna move quick through that too, just like this pattern. One, one, 30, 30, 15, then 30, 30, one, one, just like that. You got it, three, Two, one, great job. Grab that jump rope, whoop, if you're gonna use one. Here we go, right into this minute of jumping rope. Get those shoulders and arms going, even if, or especially if you're not using the rope. Whoo, we got it. You can get fancy here or you can skip. Sometimes skipping is easier for people than jumping with two feet. You can do jumping jacks in and out. Even though I said I wanted to avoid those today. <laughs> Whew, here we go, 22 seconds remaining. We have our jog. You got it. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Here we go, we're jogging. Stay in place or move around your space. All right, I'm gonna stay in place so you move a little faster here. Pump those arms, just jog it out. You can run it a little faster if you want. You can bring those knees up a little higher, whatever you need today, go for it. Good. Keep smiling. You got this. 30 seconds left. That's it. I'm gonna start moving. Feeling a little, gonna need to move around. 13, come on. All right, let's pick it up to the finish line here. Pick it up. Three, two, and one. Good work. All right, a minute's rest. Grab a sip of water. Real quick, while you're resting, skate or skip. I'm just gonna kind of run through these so you kind of know what to expect. We're gonna skate. 
and we're gonna skip, skate, skip, all right? In place, side to side. You can take it small, so it's not so much of a hop. You can go up on those toes just a little bit. You don't have to make it as much plyometric or high as you want. Take it down. Body tap from a plank position. You're gonna do elbow, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip. We're gonna take it back to our knees and toes, so you'll follow me through that. Um, if knees and toes are too hard, just keep altering between here and hips or something, okay? So you don't have to go all the way down to the toes. We're gonna do a push-ups. We're gonna do our rows with them. You can just focus on push-ups if needed. And we have four back hops, so those are the exercises you need to know. It's not too complicated. Here we go. So let's skate to the right. Give me a little, little skip to the left, a little hop. All right, good. Side to side here. You can take it out a little further and a little higher to make it a little bit harder, okay? The opposite arm goes in the air of the knee that's coming up. So I'm out to the side here. I'm gonna come up with the right hand and left knee. Out to the left here, right knee goes up, left on. Good. Back and forth, this is a minute long. So you take it to the intensity that you want here. 13 seconds. That's it, I'm trying to keep my balance. Kind of stay on that one foot. Time, body taps, plank. We're going low here. Get those hips level with the floor. Elbow, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip. You gotta push back to the knee. Push back to the knee. Come back out to that plank though each time. Push back to the toes. Plank, toe, plank. Elbow, elbow, shoulder, shoulder. Hip, hip, knee, knee. I didn't push back too far there. Toe, and toe, gotta reach. There you go, your pace. Elbows, shoulders to hips, knees and toes. You can take out knees and toes or toes if you need to. If you're not quite there yet, no worries. That's it, keep moving. This is a minute long. Just moving through this pattern. You can do it. Good. Make sure you're drawing that belly button towards your spine. That's time. Great job. All right, push up rows. Sorry, we're still down. Oh no, traveling, <laughs> low traveling. I forgot to talk about the split squat. So we're staying low here, right leg only. Travel through, sorry, completely forgot about that one. Back and forth. We've done traveling. If that's too much, take it high. You can step down and forward from the high position. I'm gonna stay nice and low here, traveling through. Nice and quick. Three, two, and one, good. Here's your push up row. You can do a regular push up or you can add your row. We're gonna push, row with a hand up towards that chest, push, row. Back and forth. 30 seconds of work here. If you're at your knees, that's fine. If you wanna find an incline at the wall or a chair, that works great too. But work your push-ups. We gotta keep practicing them if you're gonna get them right. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Forward, back, hop. Instead of just forward, back, we're gonna go to the middle, forward, middle, back. Middle, forward, middle, back. Okay? Three, two, and one. All right, push up row, we're back down. We're moving quick, push up. We'll get our rest. We get back to the top, push up row. That ends with that lateral ski to hop or skip. There you go, come on. That's it, I'd rather see you go all the way down and up, getting that full range, than to just squeak it out here. Even if that means you drop yourself to the floor and then have to really focus on that push. All right, low traveling split squat. This time left leg forward, okay? And back, I'm staying low. This knee nice and low here. You can take it higher. And if this is too much on the knees, go into a squat. Just go ahead and find your squat again. Good work on the legs. Or just a reverse lunge, alternating reverse lunge. Three, two, and one. 
Good job. All right, body taps. Find your high plank. Elbow, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee. Get back to those toes if you can. Push way back there. You got it. Find your plank each time. All right, elbows, shoulders. You do your pace. Hips. Don't forget your knees if you're there. Small little knees. Back to those toes and push. Good. Woo! You move at your own pace here. Get as many in as you can during this time. Good. So you're not going to believe how quick this workout is going to go. I've shortened them up this week. We've done some longer ones. We've spent some time. What I want you to focus on is doing these strength cardio and then getting out and finishing with some steady state. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Skate it out right. Right arm up, left knee up. Skate it out left, right knee up, left arm up. Opposite arm to knee here. Takes a little coordination, balance, and maybe you take it small and just get the movement. It's okay. Work it. You're moving. You're stepping. You're moving those arms. It's all good. Runners, this is great push off work for your run. The skip here, right? And this, even though we're going lateral, it's good work. Seven seconds. We're gonna have a break. Water break. Three, two, and one. Good work, okay, heart rate is there. Grab a sip of water, we have one minute. I'm a sticky, sweaty mess today. Here we go. All right, I get a little break. <laughs> you know me, if you've been training with me for a while, I love to work through so many circuits and then just kind of run through them all together, okay, as one large circuit. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the top. I think we'll be here about, I wanna say it's 12 minutes, it could be wrong. Maybe 12, but we're gonna go a minute of jog, start back there with our jump rope, squats, all of that, all the way through back. And we'll go right from that minute jog and to these skaters with a little skip. So, and move through that same circuit. So these two circuits that we did, just all the way through again, I'll try not to mess it up for you. I'm super excited. It's gonna be a little bit tougher. If you need rest, pause us and take it. Here we go, let's jog it out. Jog it out, run it out, however you want. You can do high knees, you can just do a jog moving around, okay? But whatever you do, get those arms moving, okay? Move those arms. You can even stay in place. Sometimes I like to stay here and turn, turn to the front, turn again. That sort of movement. Okay, you got it. 27 seconds. Get those arms going. Woo! We have jump rope coming up. Ghost rope or with an actual rope. Doesn't matter to me. You're jumping. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. One minute jump rope. So we kind of eased in with our first two circuits. Getting to know the exercises, moving through. We're combining them into this really large circuit now. Keeping that heart rate elevated for a longer period of time. You could always add on time to this one by going back and breaking down the two again and working back down. So I'll try to remember to put that in my notes. Different ways that you can take the same workout and change it up for yourself. I love giving you that. It's what I love about working out. There's so many options. 20 seconds to go here. You're doing awesome. Squats are next. Squats are next. Air squats. Good control, but good fast movement. Up tempo on those. Six, three, two, and one. Lovely. 
Here we go, squat it out with me. Up, down, make sure. Now I want you to go fast. I want you to get in as many as you can. It's only 30 seconds. But I wanna make sure that you have enough control on your quick movement that these knees stay over the ankles. You gotta kinda tighten up your core because if I'm loose through my core, everything else is gonna follow, right? It's like a ripple effect. So if I'm gonna lose here, <laughs> it's just gonna follow. So tighten up here and you can move with more control and efficiently. All right, diagonal chops. We're going more hay baler up towards the shoulder. Whew. Good, that's it. Really swing hard. I want you to put as much into this as you can. Good, quick, but forceful and powerful. Your fingers are interlaced here, interlocked. There you go. Three, two, one. All right, squat pulses. Right here, up and down. Come on, keep it going. Three, two, and one. Right hip, left shoulder, here we go. We'll let that toe follow the belly button, twist it out. You can go a little bit further, like you really wanna just throw it way back against the wall. Okay, quick, that's it. You'll get what you put into this, right? So let's work here. Make sure that you're able to brace though if you're gonna go hard and strong here. Four seconds, three, two, and one. Squat with me. Here we go, squat it out. Quick, knees over, ankles. Tighten up through the core. Find your brace, find your drawing in. Try to do both together. It's tough to learn, but you can get there. I need to make a video about it. Here we go, 10 seconds, come on. Six, five, come on. Three, two, one, grab your jump rope. We're still moving. Here we go, jump rope. One of my favorites, I don't do it enough. I used to, back in the day. <laughs> back before kids. <laughs> Here we go. Back before I belonged to, to a gym. And whoops, oh boy, I'm talking. Messing up here, keep going. Back before I belonged to a gym and all I did, all I could do was run at the time where I lived. So jump rope was my next bus. That and stair repeats. <laughs> all right, you got this, 23 seconds. We're going into that jog after this. And right into that next circuit. 15 seconds. Keep it up. 10, you got it. Eight. Five, come on. Three, two, one, woo! All right, jog it out in place or around your space. One minute, come on, move those arms. Don't forget about your arms. Woo, we got it. You're doing great. Don't forget those arms. Pick it up. This is our last jog in place. So if you want to take the knees a little higher, mine are not going to go today. <laughs> I think I mentioned you on day 21. I kind of increased my mileage here. So my feet, my joints are feeling it. Just not going to overdo it. But we can move quicker with lower impact here. Quick feet, you know, turn it over versus the high knees. And still get a lot out of it. Pull those arms back, move them. You got it, 12 seconds. We're moving right into those lateral skaters with the skip. If those, that getting that skip is still too tough and it's messing you up, just go with skaters. Three, two, and one. All right, so instead of, um, instead of going here to here, you're just gonna go back and forth, all right? Here we go, to the side, skip if you're there. Side, skip. Side, skip, good. It's fun to practice combined movements until your heart rate drops and you're not getting it. So just go into the skaters. You're just gonna go back and forth. You might take it a little slower. You might wanna stick it and stick because this is a full minute, right? Instead of the fast paced up tempo. There you go.
That's it. Come on. Feels good. I feel it in my hips. Woo. There we go. That's what moving laterally does for you. It's great. Getting our calves in here. All this stuff that leads to hip and knee and ankle stability. All right, body taps. Here we go. Down that high plank. Remember, elbows to your shoulders, to your hips, to your knees, and toes. Way back on this toes. Slows you down a little bit. That's okay. You don't have to go all the way there. Keep repeating. You got it. Just a minute. Elbows. Shoulders. Hips. Knee. And toe. Out. After that toe, make sure you come all the way back. Elbows. Shoulders. Hips. Knee, toes, you got it, great job. Keep working through it at your pace. It might be a little slower, it might be faster. It's all up to you today, but we're working. Oh, knees, I almost forgot my knees. Toes, three, two, and one. Great job, all right, low traveling split squat. Split squat, right leg forward to back. I'm staying low, you can go high, you can come up here and up and down that forward lunge. Reverse, I'm gonna just slide it through, keeping low on that left leg, give it a workout here. There you go, 10 seconds. Come on, we have push-up rows next. You got it, five seconds. Three, two, woo, and one, here we go. <laughs> Legs are shaky, push up and row with that hand if you're there today. If you're not, don't worry about it, work on those push-ups. We not, may not be there yet, that's okay. There you go. You wanna have control up, down, not just a plop, okay? See if you can do it with control. If not, try your knees. If not, just work on that push-up. Good. Woo! Three, two, and one. Forward, back, hops. All right, but we're gonna go middle, forward, middle, back. Middle, forward, middle, back. That's it, just like that. Come on, move that body. You got it. Three, two, and one. Back down. Push up rows. Back to those push ups. Ooh. There we go. Push. Nice work. You can do this from your toes if that's where you are. From a chair or a couch. From the wall. Oh, come on. I know, it's getting tough. We can do this. All the way down. All the way up. Oh. Three, two, and one. Low traveling split squat, left leg. Here we go, forward, back, stay low. Let me show you this way so you can see that right leg, how low it is. Just staying there. I'm just coming forward and back. Another leg, 13 seconds here. Whew. That's it, come on, we're almost done with this workout, just like that. Nice quick blast. I still recommend some steady stay. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Body test. Elbows, shoulders, hips. If you want, knees. Knees, if you want. Go further to the toes. Toes, good. Elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, and toes. Work at your pace. Draw that navel towards the spine, squeeze the bum, squeeze the quad. You are stiff as a board here. If you want to move with good form and control, squeeze, squeeze. Good, come on, come on. We're almost there. Keep them coming. Woo. Eight seconds, see what you can do. A little quicker, a little quicker. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, here we go. Exercise one already. It's hard to believe. Skip or skate. Sorry, skate. And then skip if you're there or just bring it to a skate. A 
little shorter today. What I want you to do now is get on, get outside, go for a walk or a jog. Maybe it's a bike ride. How fun are bikes? If you don't have a bike, you should get one. If you rode a bike as a kid and you know how, makes me feel like a kid again. It really does. Get out there. Or maybe this is just one bout and later today after dinner, or maybe it's dinner now, <laughs> if you wanna get out and move, have lunch and breakfast or dinner. Three, two, and one. Two claps, Woo. grab a sip of water. Great job, everyone. Great job. Good job. <laughs> we did it. Day 22 conquered. Ooh. All right. I got a good sweat on. I'd say my heart rate was just about right for this, not too high. If you felt like you were super duper anaerobic, um, you could take more rest in between. I kept this moving. So you just wanna either take some of these a little bit lower, a little bit slower, or add some more rest in. And that will keep you more in that steady state aerobic, which is really nice. All right, let's breathe in. Let's go out front with those arms, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do that again, in and out. Gotta go to five now, in and out. On this last one, I want you to hold it at the top. Give me a big deep breath in and out. Great job. I'm gonna have us do a little side bend here, feet wide. Just slide your arm down. I don't know how many times we spend, you know, stretching through the sides here, through the lats, down the obliques and all. A lot of times we kind of forget about that. And, you know, you go to reach for something, and you're like, oh, you pull something, something feels tight. Don't forget to side bend every once in a while. It feels so good, so good. I love it. Back to the top. Over to the other side, just slide that hand down. Just make sure when you stretch, you just go to where you feel it. Shouldn't be painful. You should just feel the stretch and be able to breathe. You can actually kind of get used to the pain. You can do some damage. So try to, try to do what you can do and work into it. You'll eventually progress. Slowly though is the key. Good, back up to the top here. Let's do eagle arms. We're gonna cross our hands here together. Push out away from the body, maybe up and out. And breathe. This one feels good after pushing back towards those toes and that plank and to our knees and our hips. Those little rows we did with the push-ups. Keep that chin. Level with the floor, I always want to drop my head. Push up and out again. Nice work, oh, let those arms go. Shake it out. Feet wide here, arms out like airplane wings, nice and long here. I'm gonna have you just bend, hinge at the hips forward for a tabletop position, reaching that head out towards the opposite wall. Nice flat back, feel that stretch. Get long as you can here through the spine. Ah, now we're gonna just let our hands slide down our legs. Just let everything go. Good, grab those elbows, give it a few swings side to side. Now I want you to reach the outside of that right ankle with both hands. Look up and out, get long through the spine here. Now I want you to pull in with that left hand towards, bring your left shoulder towards the leg just a bit. Don't overdo it again, just till you feel it. And hang out there. Woo! Feel the tightness. Oh yeah, all right. Let's swing again. One, two, 
three. We're going to five. My favorite number. Four. Good thing it's not a hundred. Five. Let's go to the left leg here. Both hands on the outside. I want you to look up and out. Get a long back. And then just pull in left shoulder to left leg. Good. Back to the center. Let's swing one more time. One, two, three, four, and five. Arms out like airplane wings. Nice flat back to tabletop. Bring it all the way up. Fist into the small of your back here. And let's give me a little back bend. Oh. <laughs> That is it today, says my timer. That was 35 minutes, I believe. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a quick blast. I'm gonna be doing a little bit shorter this week. Let me know what you think. I know some of you prefer longer, but this is one that you could do several repeats. You could go out for a mile run, come back in, do this for a little bit more high intensity, lateral movement, and then go back out for another mile run. And what a fun way to mix it up and make time fly by. That's my kind of training. So um, that's an idea. Go ride your bike, come in, get on a rower, and mix it up in there with this. I'll put some ideas down for you on paper. If you have any questions about how to mix it up that, like that, just have fun with it. Um, you can add that steady state, kind of when you're out there, a little easier steady. Come in here, hit it, go back out. Just fun ways to mix it up and, and keep you going because I get bored. I don't know about you, I get so bored. I cannot get on that treadmill. Even going out for my steady state runs today have not been all that easy, I will admit. So by doing this, you're still conditioning yourself even better because you're getting some of that good strength stuff in there too. So, all right, I hope that's enough info. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you on day 23, all right? Take care, bye-bye.